Welcome mortals, I'm Dark Lord Kaiser, here with Papers Please. So, before we actually get started on this, this little game, we're going to have a bit of story time with the Dark Lord. Isn't that nice? So, originally the plan today was, to pronounce the word originally right, but never mind. Originally the plan was to get a uh, Talos Principle video up today. Did I say today twice? I'm not with it. It'll explain my mindset by the time we get to the end of the story, believe me. So, <laughs> I'm trying to put uh, get my head around this new uh, video editing software called Lightworks, which luckily was free because it's given me nothing but hassle so far. <laughs> um, so I was trying to put this uh, Talos video together, and within the first five minutes or so, the audio was bugging itself in about three different places. To the point that... Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with um, video recording, when you start recording, you tend to do something so you can synchronise the video and your um, commentary up. So you, you might move the mouse around, sort of going up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, that kind of thing. Um, and with the, uh, the Talos video, between me doing that and actually starting the video, which bear in mind will only be a handful of seconds apart, the audio had already managed to desynchronize itself. So my um, commentary ended up reacting to Elohim's voice before Elohim had started speaking. And as I said, it, uh, it was a nightmare. So I fixed that one and then got two minutes down the line and another problem popped up. And then I got 30 seconds down the line and another problem popped up. And when you're trying to get, um, when you're trying to use a new software, it's just going to be too time consuming to try and get that out today. So I thought, I know what'll save me some time, he naively thought, I'll play a different game instead. And I happen to remember last night, um, an old, good old games account I had, which I bought solely for the purpose of playing Dungeon Keeper, and thought to myself today, well, why don't I play Dungeon Keeper instead? That's a fun little game, we'll just have a little 20 minute session, just a campaign or so of um, Dungeon Keeper, as a one-off video, just so, just so, A, I've got something to put up, and B, so people who aren't familiar with my channel actually have a point they can come in without having to worry about maybe seeing 20 videos to understand the latest stuff that's going up. So I thought, for the sake of newcomers, I'd throw a handful of one-off videos into the mix. Would the bloody thing record? Would it buggery? It was playing through DOSBox, which I was unaware was going to be the case, but that's just the facts of the matter. If it was in full screen, Bandicam just wouldn't let me press the record button. If I switched to Bandicam to get it recording and tried to switch back to uh, Dungeon Keeper, it would play in a box that was about a sixth of my screen, so I couldn't even see what was going on particularly. So I thought, okay, well instead of trying to get it to record just the box, I'll get it to record the entirety of my screen. Except I've got two screens, and when Dungeon Keeper starts playing, it changes the resolution of the screen without changing the resolution Bandicam's recording at, so I recorded 20 minutes or so of something to then have a look at it and realise that actually what it had done is taken the Dungeon Keeper, squished it down into a tiny little screen um, window, put it to the side, and then recorded half of the other screen that wasn't... It, it, was, it was madness. I have no idea how I'd even fix that as a problem. Maybe the new software could do something about it, but I don't know how to use it yet, so... Yes. After about half an hour, or maybe even longer than that, trying to get something to work with Dungeon Keeper, the whole thing started playing silly buggers, to the point where I tried doing this intro in a... Uh, in the Dungeon Keeper, and it started playing the, the credits or something, just because, you know, I hadn't done anything for a few minutes. And that managed to stop the recording of the DOS box on the Bandicam. So, that's out the window for the moment. Maybe I'll play Dungeon Keeper later if I can ever figure out how to record it. For now, we'll, we'll play some papers, please. It's fun. As you can see, I have. I've played this game before. It's a fun game. Um, but I'm going to go all the way to the beginning and we'll, we'll just play a new one. Why not? Just a bit of fun. As I said, one off video for the sake of it. So I guess I should probably put on a really bad accent for this. I won't because I'd the only I um, technically this game is set in a sort of hypothetical kind of Germany post um, 
post World War Two. You're sort of playing in a sort of fantasy Berlin era um, when Berlin was split by the Berlin Wall. And I can't really do a Russian, a German accent. I would try and do a Russian accent, which wouldn't fit the piece. So we'll, we'll just we'll just read it as is, shall we? Because it's not in Germany or Russia. Congratulations. The October Labour Lottery is complete. Your name was pulled. May the odds be ever in your favour. For immediate placement, report to the Ministry of Admission at Grestin Border Checkpoint. Ow, I cracked my finger. I will expect to do that. An apartment will be provided for you and your family in East Grestin. That would be East Berlin um, in reality. Expect a Class 8 dwelling. I'm guessing that's the lowest form, short of living in a cardboard box. Glory to add Stotska. A Stotska. Stotska? Yeah, a Stotska. I missed it. Pronounced it. I've played, I've played this game before. I've seen other people let's play it. I should know how to pronounce the words by now. Okay, Greston Border Checkpoint opens at last. After six long years, can the Ministry of Mission keep us safe? Probably not. Let's walk to work. Dum -de dum -de dum There I am. That's me. That's the player character. I'm in a box. Okay, Inspector. Welcome to your new position at Crestin Border Checkpoint. Stamp permission, entry visa, and return documents to entrance. Entry is restricted to Astotskan citizens only. Deny all foreigners. Glory to Astotskan. So if I click over here, I can see this is the passport. I just want to check that they are indeed from this country. Because it's only going to let people from this country. Okay. Now I'm not going to need this on me today. Where is it? It lives over there. Um, if we get to future um, levels, which I'm not expecting to do today, but I'd normally keep this over here because there'd be a list of um, criminals to not let in. So I just have the faces over there. But I don't need that for the moment. So. Come forth, drones. Let us establish whether you can enter our fine country. So, yep. He's our Stotskan. You can tell it says our Stotskan over there. It hasn't expired. So we can click approved. Right, bye, get out my line. Next. This is the game. Riveting stuff. It does actually get interesting when you get into the thing, but this person isn't from the right country. Be gone with it. Go away. So, aim of the game is basically letting the people who you're supposed to let in, deny the people you're not supposed to let in. Oh, you waited eight hours, did you? Well, it says you're clearly that only our stocks can come in, so you just wasted eight hours of your life, mate. Well done. So, down here you can see I've got a time limit. I simply want to process as many people in that time limit as I can. If I process them correctly, I get money. If I process them wrong, I get fined. If I process too many people, it is uh, a little bit generous. It will give you one or two sort of freebies. Okay, thanks for that, buddy. Wasting my goddamn time. I have a family to feed, apparently. Okay, you are not our Stodskin. So I don't even need to read anything else. So if you're lucky with um, these passports, you'll get one, immediately see what the problem is, and not have to look at anything else. So for all I know, this passport's expired. Doesn't matter. It's not our Stodskin. Don't need to worry about anything. And the fact that I'm not letting anybody in doesn't matter. I'm getting paid by the number they get processed, not by uh, whether they come in or not. So, where are we? We are our Stotskin. You are female. That looks like you. Expiry date is in date. I'm not going to bother. I should check the issuing cities, but I can't be bothered. It's only the first level. I don't think it gets to that detail quite yet. But I would usually need to go through here and go to the regional map and go, Oh, look, these are where issuing cities. These are the districts. Papers, please. And bugger off. I may as well keep this open. I was going to put it back. There's no point. I may as well keep it open for the uh, issuing cities now, because this is the only page I need to worry about. I've played this game before. You'd think I'd have uh, be aware of stuff like that. Go away. So this is flashing, so I'm in the last sort of hour. Come. I clicked next, and I didn't click it in time. It's a very, very short time span you can click that in. Okay. Yeah, we look good. Cool. Go away. 
So I click too early, then uh, it won't do the next thing if I. So I've got to wait till it actually is flashing around us. Okay. Go away. No one likes you. You have no friends. There we are. Now the line all buggers off. Manager expenses using the checkbox. Okay, so. Uh, salary. There we are. So, so I dealt with 12 people. That got me 60 monies. I can't do anything about the rent. If I can't make rent, it's game over. I lose. I could feed my family. This is my family over here. And I could put the heating on. So all of that will then leave me at 40 monies. However, I could save more money and just not feed or clothe them. But, uh... Tell you what, for today, we are going to give them some heat. So we're not going to feed anybody today. You can go a couple of days um, without feeding people or heating them. I like to alternate uh, heat and food. It does tend to result in every now and then my son will get the sick Oh, your son is sick, he needs medicine. Bit. Okay, so, until I start pressing buttons, the timer won't go. So I can take as much time as I want, within reason, obviously, to read all the information and make sure I know what I'm doing before the day starts. Sometimes little characters over here will come and walk in and have a chat before the, gate, the day starts as well. Doesn't matter, it's only when I sort of click the next button is when the day starts. It's quite useful. So, foreigners with a valid passport are permitted to enter. So now I have the inspection button, so uh, if there's a discrepancy, I can ask them about it and um, possibly still let them in. It does fit, depend on exactly what the problem is, so. There's the... So yeah, so if I click something that's wrong, something else that's wrong, may, uh, it might pop something up and I can ask them. For the most part, I don't need to worry about it, so that's my inspection discrepancy button over there. Right, uh, let's have this ready, because I do need to be ready to check things. Okay, I'm not even going to lift my shutter. That does it automatically with the first guy. Up we do. Hello, person. So, where are you from? You're from Impor. That is a correct issue in city. The date is right. That looks like you. Cool. Welcome to our Stotska. Bugger off. Let's uh, get back to the, the map. Ready? The map. Here we go. So, hang on a second. Hang on a ruddy minute. No, just, just the expiration date. Discrepancy. You cannot enter using an expired document. How about, I'm sorry for wasting your time, kind border inspector man. Some people... Papers, please. What we got? Uh, we're in dates. That looks like you. Enkyo. No, nope, that's the wrong one. I'm looking for import. <laughs> import. Enkyo. Enkyo. Cool. Neat. In you go. Get out my queue. So you've got to sort of balance getting it right and getting it um, fast. I think your hood's a bit too big for you, mate. Oh, really? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll take some time for you. I'm very tempted just to tell him to sod off, but I get penalised for stuff like that. That's where this sort of game plays in. So, at some point, someone's going to pop in and say, Hi. Doesn't say anything to me, this person. Okay. Um, and they'll say, Hey, I'm from this place. Now, can you let my, my wife in? And the wife won't have the appropriate information. And you'll have to make that choice of do I do the right thing and not send this person off to their death or whatever, or do I play by the rules? And depending on how you play, you can get a different uh, view. Hello. Oh, the pink vice. I can't give it back to them. <laughs> I'm a married man, I probably shouldn't. Okay, around a couple of months, don't forget to visit. I can't really do anything with this. Maybe I can give it to somebody else. And what am I going to do with this? I can't even flip it over or anything. Hello, person. East Greston. That's right. Because West Greston's collection. Oh, a person! Ah! Make. Do something! I can't. You, do your job. Stop this person. 
Oh, for the love of God. You only managed to kill them after they'd thrown the bomb that killed you. You were a terrible guard. <laughs> were you picked by lottery as well? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, yeah, see? One day of no heat, my son's sick. Right. Well, everyone's hungry, so nobody's... Oh, there's no food, sorry. It was a day of no food, and my son's sick. Well, he can have some medicine. But uh, he's not getting the heater on today. Oh no, terrorist strikes, and I think it was the Collections. That's really much all you need to know from this. Hey, look! Some guards. You're coming in to say hello. Oh, he's not coming in to say hello. He's just standing there to stop other people. Okay. No, at some point he will come in to say hello. Right, so, if they're coming in now, they need an entry ticket. Um, I've got to check that the entry ticket is, you know, uh, the passport and the entry ticket are all up to scratch. If they're correct, they can come in. If they're not, they can start off. So, don't need that. Do need this. Basic rules. Now, something I've noticed from uh, previous, previous games is that the first person who arrives on a given day, will be the tutorial person. So, if the first person turns up and they put a ticket on the... an entry ticket on the table, from my experience, I can immediately let that person in, don't just check anything else, because that person is basically just a this is how it's supposed to look. So sometimes they'll turn up and it'll be the exact opposite. They will need to present a document and they won't, and you'll be able to say, hey, this is wrong. Or you'll get a thing saying... Oh, keep an eye out for, um, use this to check if this, the diplomatic seals are correct or whatever. And you can look at a thing, and if it looks, if they're giving you the right piece of paper, you know already, already something's wrong with it. So this person has got a ticket, so I don't need to check anything. I know from experience they'll be fine. Because he's a tutorial one. He's just a, here's how everything's supposed to look. Who's this guy? This guy doesn't have one. So, he's the tutorial. This is how you do it wrong. Which is quite useful. You're a dick. Okay, so he was just wasting my bloody time. I thought it was only the first person who did the tutorial, but when the second guy turns up and he's doing it wrong, I go, oh, this must be part of the tutorial bit as well. But no. Hello there, person. Oh, that's very kind of you. Um... That's in date. That's in date. Impor hi hand. Yeah. yeah, getting around this map's a bit of a hi hand impor. Cool. Thank you, person. Okie dokie, Miss Prostitute. I, but I think she's. Uh, it's supposed to be that she's an exotic dancer who's. At, but uh, it becomes apparent as you go along. This isn't for dancing. Okay, that's in date, that's in date. The look female to me is Corsica City in United Federation. Let's check, shall we? United Federation, Corsica City. Cool. In you go. Now it is worth remembering that um, it's only the foreigners who need those tickets. So if I start trying to mess around going, why doesn't this person have a ticket? It's because she doesn't need one. She's from Ostotska. Cool. Be safe. Oh, you two. I think I managed to read that without realising I was reading it. And that was a strange sensation. Thank you. So, let's see. Ticket. Your, your ticket's wrong, you daft bint. This and that are not the same. What do you mean, oh? Come back... It says right there what the day is. Come back then. <laughs> Except it won't be valid on that day because we'll have changed the rules by then because the rules change every day because screw the rules, we need something to do. Alrighty, that's in date. Now we need to check the, the map. Republica. Lestrand. This is a really bad game for a dyslexic to play. When you've got all these sort of words, the way you've got to check all the letters are in the right place. That wasn't hypothetical. It's not saying this would be a hard game for dyslexics to play. I am dyslexic, and I do struggle with part of this game. Glory to Ostotska. Greatest country. Uh, you 
got to have a passport, dude. I need something to tick to say you can come in. Uh, yeah, go, go, go get a passport, and I'll let you in. I won't even check it. I like you, so I'll let you in. He's a bad man. He's a drug dealer. I'm gonna let him in anyway because he's fun. Okay, is that you? Yes. Is that today? Yes. Is that in date? No. No, not Enkyo. This bit. And bam. This document has expired. What are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about? This date that says expiration was in the past. <laughs> well, a stop so he doesn't work on you. Off you go. Someone else come in. Here, have a thing. You, have, you can have this. I don't want it. Here, have that. Oh, I can't give it to you. Whatever. Okie dokie. Let's see. Is that in date? Yes. Don't worry about that anymore. Is this in date? Uh, yes. I really do hate faffing around with the different pages on here. Antegra. Great. No. This is a badness. This is why we check the issuing cities. This is a bad passport. This is an evil passport. You should be arrested for that, but I don't have that mechanic yet. When I have that mechanic, the nice men with the guns will take you into that building over there. Okie dokie. That does look like you. That's today's date. That's in date. Now we check Obrastan. Obrastan. Skull. Yep, cool. I can't have much time left in the day. Next, please. I, mean, I want to get money for my... What? Invalid gender? Ah, crap. There's always something. Yes, that's female. That is not today. Come on, guys. You've been here for hours. At some point, you must have looked at the information on your own pieces of paper and realised the mistake before getting here. I mean, it's not like... I wasn't... Illegal, that was just, oh, I need to come back in the future. Some people, that and that are not the same person. What is this? What are you trying to do? Now, see, this is where it can get interesting. Oh, no, apparently not. Okay, never mind. That must be future levels. In future levels, at that point, a fingerprinting mechanic will come in and you can check that they are indeed the same person. Right, that's this level over. Maybe that'll... Maybe that particular mechanic will pop up in the next level. Who knows? Ah. Being the professional I am, I had another big sip of me drink right then. Right. Everyone's cold. No one's hungry. No food then. That might seem harsh, but I need to save my money up. Um, it's quite easy for a day to get cut short and you to only have um, dealt with two people. Or just to have a really bad day of not getting to grips with a new mechanic and um, getting lots and lots of penalties and needing that resources and as a bit of a spoiler at the end of the game you have to try and escape the country to do that you need false passports to get the false passports you need money so you need to make sure you're saving your money from the get-go oh, what have we got now stricter credential requirements have been instituted so now our Stotskans must have an ID card. Fomenders need an entry permit, not the entry ticket we had before. Which means I think the first person will turn up with the wrong thing. You have to go, no, this is wrong. Be gone with thee. And they've updated the book. So now if I go to documents, I can see this is what the ID card's supposed to look like. These are where they, they come from. These are what the entry permits look like. As you can see, there's going to be more information on them. And I've got to make sure that, these, that this uh, stamp on here is one of these two. This is where the game starts becoming a right pain. Because it only gets more complicated from here, folks. Right. Bring in the first moron. I mean, person. This person comes in here. So here we go. He's got the right piece of paper. It's the tutorial one, so he'll be fine. In you go. One of these days I'm going to say all that about this the tutorial guy. And I will immediately get thrown out because it would be wrong. So this guy could be different though. So he wants to 
work. He's here for 30 days. That's a month. He's entering by the right date. Uh, is his name the same? This is what I said. His name's Thor. That's awesome. Is his passport number the same? Looks it to me. So as far as I can tell, that is all correct. Then I'll have to double check the, uh, the seal. Yep, seal's fine. Okay, Dougie. So now we'll go to the regional map. He's Antegrian. Outer Grouse is one of these places here. Oh, god damn it. I go through all that, and his passport's expired. Do you know what to say? You want to say is, I'm sorry for wasting your time, I'll come back with another passport. Somebody come over here. Who are you? Oh, and look, we've got someone trying to come in with yesterday's rules. Oh, that's the wrong button. <laughs> I was clicking this over here, and actually, this one over here. So, must no, not passport. This one. Here you go. So this is the person who's got who's got a ticket and wants to come in. You notice here. So I ask, what's your purpose of your trip and how long are you going to stay? That's questions that should be permit uh, asked for the the permit because they haven't got a permit. They've got a ticket. They didn't expect those questions. You know, that's a little sort of. Little touch there. Well, then, that's your fault, isn't it? You ain't gonna listen to pay attention to the rules. Yeah, visiting friends, yep, yeah, duration, a couple of months, two months, yeah, that fits. Enter by sometime next month, that's fine. That looks like you, you look like a woman. That's in date. Those match, do the names match? Okay, let's hope my dyslexia hasn't screwed me over here. I make reference to my dyslexia. It usually affects more my uh, working memory, so having to retain information in my head and uh, use it at the same time. So mental maths, that sort of thing, phone numbers, that sort of stuff is the things that will usually throw me off. Reading, I'm usually all right with, except when it's words that I'm not even remotely familiar, familiar with. Visiting, six months. Enter by the 16th. Oh, here's our first moral choice. I'm going to let the time run a little bit for this. So she hasn't seen her son in six years. She's got to enter by the date that's already gone. I shouldn't let her in. I'm a maverick. If you turn out to be a terrorist, I'm going to be very annoyed. Yeah, I know, it was expired. It was intentional. What is the purpose of a trip you are visiting? Oh, good. How long for? Two weeks. That's about 14 days. Enter is in date. The uh, passport number matches. The name matches. Picture matches. Gender matches. Do, 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 do. I can't remember if that's the right stamp. Yep, we're good. Regional map. Republia. Leicester Rav Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. Next. No, you take take your passport. I need my book. I need that. This uh that's a, sort of between this area here is where if you've made a mistake is where it'll highlight it. Oh, you're here to stay forever. How nice. Name matches up, passport number matches up. Uh enter by that's fine. That's in date. I didn't check the issuing city, but I'm running low on time, so I'm just going to have to wing it and hope for the best. Because I think I've got one more mistake today. Here we are. Oh, was the name wrong? Yep, you, you're coming in. I know I'm going to get fined for that, but I, I like you. You are the best character. Cheers, buddy. He gave me a coin. Let's hope it's worth the five credits I just got fined. <laughs> Look at all these problems. Cobra Stan is not a real country. His passport was missing. His entry permit was missing. Everything was wrong. Okay, then. Your name is Reed Alexander. Is your weight 90? Yep, is your height 181? Thereabouts. Date of birth matches here. Yes. Expiry date. That's within time. 
means I just need to go to is this a district? Altan, yes, cool. Ah, uh, oh, the issuing city. God damn it. Issuing city. Oh, check. Vone. The thing, it can sometimes throw you by putting the issuing city having like one letter out. Sometimes it will be completely wrong. So it would say, you know, West Greston instead of East Greston. Sometimes it would say um, Orvech Venor instead of Vonor. And you'd uh, get thrown by that instead. Visiting for, is it two months? It is two months. Okay. Enter by, that's fine. Names match as far as I can tell. Passport numbers. Usually they're pretty far out for the passport numbers if they're, if they're wrong. So we're running low on time, so let's just go for it. Go in. I need to get as many people through as possible, and I'm already being fine today, so I've got to bounce it out. Who are you? Purple scarf guy. Cool. That looks like you. That is not you. Who the hell is that? What's this, mate? You had surgery. Oh. Okay. So this is where the fingerprinting comes in. Do these fingerprints match these fingerprints? They do. So it probably is you. No, get, go away. Let's assume it is. Cool. Go on. Do some stuff. Go away. Ah, damn. I was hoping to get one more in in that time. Come back tomorrow. Do. 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 Okay, so what have we got? Penalty and rent. Can't do anything about. Everyone's hungry. Nobody's cold. My god, that is a sickly bloody sun. He just can't go any sort of day. So, let's do one more level, then we'll call it an episode. Ooh. Vince Lestrade. Lestrade. Wasn't Lestrade the, um... From Sherlock Holmes. I'm pretty sure he was part of Scotland Yard. Maybe that's a different spelling, I mean, but that's certainly what I'm reading at. So I'm going to pretend that this is a undercover police investigation. It probably won't turn up in this episode, but later um, he does turn up and you then can uh, can call him in. So if I see anyone called Vince Lestrade, we can... Uh, oh, I didn't actually check if anything was different. That was bad. Oh, I can now detain suspicious people. Ah, okay. So, if detaining is something I can do, I wonder if that means this is the... this person needs detaining. Unfortunately, you can't just press detain. You've got to figure out what's wrong with them. So, name looks right. You say you were here to work for a year? Work for a year, yeah. Enter by... That's a date. That stamp looks right to me. Uh, that was the wrong one. Right. Stamps right, okay. So as far as I can tell, that's fine. Which implies to me something's going to be wrong with your Antigran passport. No, that's looking fine as well. Glorian's right, you're in date. Huh. Guess I don't detain this time. Something about that's going to be wrong, but I couldn't see what it was. I bet you and the audience have noticed. What was it? ID number. God damn it. That's the thing. I knew that the first one's the tutorial one, but I couldn't see the problem. Okay. Oh, I don't want that quite yet, do I? Name. Yes. Date of birth. Yes. 173. Rough height, roughly. 53 kilograms. Yes. Uh, they look the same as you. Do, 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 do. Let's, uh... East Greston is an issuing city. Uh, documents, ID card is Guinness derivative. Yep, cool. Oh, Gustorio. That ain't right. What's that? This is wrong. You are a wrong person. You have a false ID card. Thus, I must detain you. You thought you could fool the Dark Lord. You're not as smart as the previous person. Hello, friend. What is the purpose of... Hello! I didn't think you'd turn up this soon.
What's all this then? Hello, friend. Were you now? Unfortunately, it's not my place to find out whether you did or didn't. It's these nice fellows with the big guns. Go with them. Bye bye. I honestly thought that would turn up in a later episode. Uh, episode. Level. I'm not making multiple episodes of this. What is the purpose of your trip? Transit? Yes. How long will you stay? A couple of days. Two days. Right. Who the hell is that? That is not you. The ears have been... They certainly have. Okay. Prove thy identity, Casimir. Here are my fingerprints. Uh, are you sure about that, buddy? Because these aren't right either. What am I talking about? Go talk to the nice men with the big guns. They'll sort you out. Have your documents ready. And have your, the right set of fingerprints, apparently. <laughs> Who are you? Hello, friend. The purpose of your trip. I hate this country. You're just passing through. You're staying for two days. Uh, I think I remember this guy. I think this is one of those guys who is sort of scripted. He's, he's, I, if my memory is correct, he's perfectly fine. He just doesn't want to be here. So it's quite possible for you just to want to send him away. It's one of situations where you want to send him away because he's being a dick rather than because there's anything wrong with him. Staying for a couple of weeks. Oops. Yeah, visiting. Enter by... Oh, for the love of... Come on. I'm pretty sure these things weren't even... Didn't even exist on that date. You could not have come till now. Well, look, you can come again tomorrow. Preferably with the right documentation. Is it this riveting stuff, viewers? It's a paperwork simulator. Papers, please. What are you going to be here for? You plan to work. Good for you. How long for? A year? No, no, no. This is one of those things where it'll say that and they'll just say, oh yeah, it's, it's half a year. That's it. That's, that's fixed it. But if I don't bring it up, then... Uh, I don't want that yet, do I? Then I won't be allowed to let them in. But I don't think I've ever come across someone say, oh, my mistake, it's actually... And then again, give a different... Uh, incorrect response. Maybe once in the three or four times I've tried playing this game. Try being the operative word, because most times I get a game over for doing something stupid. Okay, who art thou? Today is a beautiful day, my friend. We finally become free from antiquity. Oh, I think I remember this guy. Ah, oh, this is the poor sod whose wife's behind him. He's perfectly fine. And his wife turns up next. But the, the family are so poor they can only afford one set of the very expensive documents. So she turns up and she's missing everything else that she needs. So my choice is either she comes in. Look, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. Uh, let's have that one. So if I say that this is wrong, she says, basically, then if she goes back, she'll die. But I'm not allowed to let her in. So I've got to deny her. But as we've established, I'm a maverick. In you go, woman. We will not forget. Cool. Hey, she gave me a coin. Screw the rules, I have morals. Oh, for the love of... Look. Where's your passport? Give me your passport. What is... What is passport? What? How did you even get this? He's got a passport number right there. You're an idiot. Do you want to go see the big men with the, the friendly guns? I may have said that sentence wrong. Whatever. Okay, passing through. I can take as long as I want at this point. The time's done. I don't even know if this one will count because the time's gone. But Let's assume that it does. Does that look like you? Yeah, kind of. Passport number is correct. Name. Eleanor Jacoby. 
I've got hiccups. This is the worst thing to happen to someone doing a commentary. Oh, God. Okay, we'll power through it. We'll power through. <laughs> Expires. Fine. Let in. Uh, fine. Uh, that's the right ticket. Okay. This is the bit I guarantee every time I always, always forget to check the issuing cities. The number of times I've been caught out by that. Because it's one of those things that uh, doesn't come up very often and there's so many other things that will be wrong first. So the, the expiry date will be wrong or the passport number will be wrong or the name will be wrong. And it's just, you know, you've got that whole list of things to do and the bottom of my priorities every time is the um, issuing city. And I'll get caught by that pretty much every time it's wrong at the later levels. But I think that will do for now. Um, I'm not planning on making this a running series. This is just a one-off for the sake of it. Unless I can't get another game to work again, in which case I may come back to it. But it will be, again, an individual thing, not connected to this. It'll be later on in the game, because why the hell not? So, here's hoping that Audacity has recorded all this properly, because I'm going to be rather annoyed if this doesn't work. Okay. I appreciate you listening through all of my rambling at the beginning and in the middle there, guys. So... I'm done. So are you. Bye.